This Edmonton transit bus looks and feels like your average bus, but there's one major difference. It's powered by hydrogen. There's no engine, there's no transmission. This big black fuel cell uses hydrogen and oxygen to create energy to drive the bus. There are zero emissions. The byproducts, heat and water. These are ways for us to sustain, to have sustainable fuel, really look at climate action and put a, a big punch into that. For one year, the city will track how the bus handles distances and Alberta's extreme temperatures. It's certainly part of our, um, our desire to be uh, emissions neutral by 2050. On a full tank, this bus would be able to run between 300 and 480 kilometers, the same as a regular diesel bus. Hydrogen is, is on fire right now globally. Brian Helfenbaum says half a trillion dollars of hydrogen projects have been announced worldwide in the last few years. Alberta has vast reserves of natural gas, which can be converted into hydrogen. The province is aiming to become a hydrogen hub. We already have the technologies in place to, to make it, to move it, and to use it. Ultimately, hydrogen could supply essentially all of our heavy haul vehicles and our trains and our ships and our planes. Twelve years ago, BC scrapped 20 hydrogen buses because of costs. Experts say the technology has matured. Safety has also been addressed over the years and the time is now ripe. In Canada, we have about 4,000 people currently employed in the clean hydrogen sector. Uh, we expect to see that to grow by orders of magnitude uh, as we're able to displace more polluting forms of energy. If things go well with a pilot, there's potential to transition the bus fleet and perhaps an identity. Changing that concept of oil country to a sustainable fuel is something you know, people don't often get an opportunity to kind of be a part of. And it starts with one bus, but we're looking at many things beyond that. And all that starts when the hydrogen buses hit the road in February. Julia Wong, CBC News, Edmonton.